rounds eight and nine of the World Rallycross Championship from Barcelona. Another double header, and Johan Christofferson perfectly placed to wrap up his fifth driver's title. Heat one, race one, and Kevin Hansen and Nicholas Gronholm getting stuck into each other straight away. Side by side up the hill with Hansen sticking his Peugeot up the inside and hanging on to take the win, albeit not happy with Gronholm's aggressive approach. The, the race wasn't my cleanest in the world, but you know we were pulling away bit by bit from, from Nicholas, and uh, Nicholas loved to push you and squeeze you and <laughs> everything that involves contact. So. Uh, it's very a shame because you know we can have really nice tight racing, but he really enjoys to, to push people off. He won race two, and Johan Christofferson and Timmy Hansen going head to head down into turn one. Christofferson making the most of pole position. Another masterclass from Christofferson, and he went fastest of the first heat races. Heat two, race one, and a dominant win for Timmy Hansen, taking a lights to flag victory in his Peugeot ahead of Nicholas Gronholm, who passed Gustav Bergstrom on the final lap after the Swede took his joker. Heat two, race two, and a great launch from Kevin Hansen. He tried to shut the door on Christofferson. Contact was inevitable, and the Volkswagen driver came out on top. From there, he got his head down and pulled away for the overall win, while Kevin Hansen capitalised on a mistake by Clara Anderson coming out of the hairpin to finish second. It's important to have a car that can handle, you know, slight differences in the track condition, and I think we have that, so, uh, yeah, it, I had a good feeling, and I can play with the car, I can try different lines, and I heard I, I had good pace, so then it's always great uh, to be able then, because the track conditions are changing uh, a lot. On to the progression rounds, and Christofferson got the initial launch, but Hansen back up the inside to take the lead. Christofferson jokered early, and Hansen responded a lap later. It could not have been any closer on the run up the hill. Side by side, but it was Christofferson with the inside line. Hansen not giving up, hanging it out all the way around the outside, squeezing each other coming into the chicane, and Christofferson ended up getting fired into a spin. Hansen hung on for a hard-fought win, but was later given a three-second penalty for that incident. Race two and another mega fight. Ole Christian Vaby with a great start from the outside row. Nicholas Gronholm jokered early, leaving Vaby and Kevin Hansen to fight it out. Hansen stuffing up the inside into the hairpin and making the move stick. Meanwhile, Gronholm had been banging in hot laps, and by the time Hansen and Vaby had jokered, he found himself in the lead. But a mistake on the exit of the hairpin left the door open for Hansen. He didn't need asking twice. He took the gap and the win. Yeah, he made a mistake and I got it. So I was almost, you know, uh, full car in front and hit my rear, so brilliant. Semi-final race one, and Johan Christofferson remained on his unstoppable form, taking a clear victory ahead of Nicholas Gronholm, and he remained on course for pole position in the final and his fifth championship title. I just tried to give some feedback to Ole Christa now, first of all, and the uh, car is great. Uh, very, very difficult and, and changing track conditions, so you really need to be on your toes all the time, which is very challenging, and I enjoy that. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, a proper fight for, for the win today, I think. Uh, there is some very, very hungry drivers out there that want to uh, win. Semi-final two and the Hansen brothers running nose to tail throughout. Timmy Hansen following his younger brother Kevin across the line for a 1-2 and progression through to the final. Only major drama required to stand between Johan Christofferson and his fifth title. But this is the World Rallycross Championship, and that drama came at turn one. Kevin Hansen and Christofferson getting all tangled up. Both ended up in the gravel. That left Gronholm clear out in front with Timmy Hansen chasing. Hansen jokered early and got the hammer down. Gronholm jokered late, but Hansen had done enough to clear the fin, and he went on to take his first and long overdue win of 2022. Yeah, like finally, more or less every single race this year we've been in, in the hunt for winning. I've, I've been leading finals, and uh, uh, Kevin's been leading finals, and it just, just hasn't gone our way, and like, you know, it's frustrating, but uh, yeah, today was the day finally uh, put in. Uh, you know, we were at the right place at the right time, and uh, 
I, I didn't quite have the luck in the progression race. I've won so many progression races this year. Today I got a bit unlucky in the progression instead, but got lucky in the final, you know, being on the right place. So I feel fantastic uh, how long we've been working for this and we've been believing and, and a small team, but, you know, we, we're still bringing updates to this event. And probably Johan is still maybe an ultimate pace the fastest, but uh, now we are in with, within fighting distance. So now on the start line, I know with the right day, with the right circumstances, I, I, I'm within, you know, that that margin that I need to fight for the win. A good start to the weekend for Timmy Hansen. Can he do it again on Sunday's action? One man not as happy is Johan Christofferson. The driver's title remains open. Can JK wrap up his fifth title here in Barcelona? We do it all again tomorrow.